Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be um, a palette winking for you guys. So yay, finally get to do this for you guys. I am going to do, uh, say, a Walmart one. Hopefully tomorrow if I can get to it after work. So that might be Thursday's video. But I don't know. And then I'm, of course I need to do my skincare, which is, of course is the same old, same old. But whatever, if you want to see this look, it's of course in my last video. So of course, if you watch this video, um, this is on a Wednesday, so I'm asleep. Okay, so start off with the, my favorites, of course. Um, this is um, the Black Magic Carnival by Uma Beauty. I really do like this one. The, um, I love the performance of it. It performed really beautifully. It, they blend really goodly. They're pigmented. And they're just really easy to work with shadows. Um, I was kind of surprised at this one. Um, it's one of those brands that I want to try more of. My wallet doesn't, but um, yeah. Because they're all really pr um, pricey-ish. Yeah, let me swatch some of these guys. The purple one is a little bit, uh, okay, let's say, subtle-ish, but yeah. Of course, when I wore, did this guy in the Get Away With Me, people say it looked like uh, 80s music because it's bright. But whatever. Don't care. Um, but yeah, there's that guy. I do like how they perform. They're very beautiful. I want to get more of their um, stuff so I can try them out. But yeah, like I say, my wallet doesn't want to. Okay, next lip palette. Um, my friend Alejandra gave me this guy. Um, this is a Nabla. This is a Dreamy palette. Finally got to try this um, brand out. The eyeshadows. And I really do like the formula of it. I have some of their, I believe, highlighters and anything like that. Um, and their bronzer, I believe. But I never tried their um, eyeshadows. So, of course, she was decluttering them. And I was like, going to declutter her. Declutter it. And she was going to send my way. I was like, sure, why not? So this is what it looks like. I love it. It's beautiful. I do love the love the colors of it. Um, and of course, I love how they blend. And they're not the most blinding like these guys. Um, like these guys are here, but they do all perform really nicely. This guy got wet, but it's cool. Okay, so I do really like the form on these one. I'm surprised my little kitten's still sleeping. Two videos um, into it, and she's still sleeping. Woohoo! So there's that one. Next palette is similar to that one. It's a Huda Beauty, um, and this one is a Desert Dusk palette. So there's that one. This one, of course, is a pressed glitter, and I don't mind pressed glitters at all. I love Huda's formula. Um, I've tried this a few times, and I really do like it. It's very pretty. Um, it's very... Compare, I do like her Rose Gold one, too. I didn't never get the whole thing with the um, whole old formula type of thing with the glitters and whatever stuff. But yeah, she likes to do like her own thing type of thing. I love Huda's mattes. They just blend so easily. And they are just easy to work with. But yeah, this is one of the whole older palettes. But yeah, I do really like them. Her formula has definitely improved over the years. I know when I first tried it, um, her little pants, I wasn't really impressed with it. And then I got her um, Rose Gold palette. The remaster one, I was like, ooh, okay. Then the matte form had definitely improved. I'm trying to pan that one because it's not really older, but I noticed that the mattes draw seem like they dry up a little bit. My hair, I hate my hair when it's um without my extensions because it just looks ugh great. So I'm waiting. This is, looks so great, I know. But whatever. I don't care about my hair. But that's that. I need to do my roots soon. Sometime look it up. Okay. So next palette let's talk about is this Michaela palette. I think Ronnie gave me this one. So this one's by Glamlight. It's really reflective. So there's this one. People complain that the formula is um, different than the regular formula of Glamlight. I don't really notice a difference of it at all. Um, I've tried, of course, the Kiss palette that I do like, but it's not... In my opinion, for the Kiss palette, they really fricked up because it's not really Kiss. It just kind of like, you know, slap some names on it, throw some colors on it, and call it Kiss. But whatever. Um, like, I did a whole thing on that one, that palette, too. In my opinion of my one palette, I'm winking on that one. But um, the matte formula, I'm like, I don't believe it's any different between, of course, any of the other formulas if I've tried. Like, some of them are more, like, bright and out there. I'm not right now there. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
uh, more pigmented, but I noticed that it's it still blends easily and it still performs in easily for me. And um, also the shimmers are still impact for like the regular glam like format. I do love the brand in general. It's one of my favorite any brands type of thing, but yeah. And their formula is so easy to work with. I absolutely love working with um, Glam Light because it is so easy. You do need a primer because if not, it doesn't really blend the best. But um, when you want to use a primer, it's fine. Okay, next the guys are going to be kind of like in the same ballpark. So here's the Violet Voss Core Palette um, Crush. Um, Alejandro sent me this one as well. I do really like this palette. I love Violet Voss's big palettes. I don't really like her smaller palettes. I notice the formula on those are a little bit different than the ones in those. For some reason, it's not the same formula. But the big palettes, if you see them on BoxyCharm's website or anything like that, definitely grab them. They're very easy, nice to blend. This one doesn't want to be. And I notice that sometimes her formula, like the shimmers are really pressed hard into the pan as well. But I do really like the mattes. The mattes do blend really nicely. Um, this palette right here is not a standalone palette for me. Even if I do a halo, this guy is not deep enough for my my um my skin tone. It might work if you're like a lot lighter, you would be be fine. It would that way. But it, this works better for people with of course warmer skin because it looks really weird on people with cool tone. But yeah. I do really like it. Um, I do like the palette. I do like the formula. It's just like I wish it had one more deeper shade in it, like a darker brown. Even though people can say that that's dark brown. Me, not really. It's like, let me show what it looks like on my skin. Even on my um, non self tan arms. Like I said, six many times, these things don't tan. Um, but yeah, it's very, I don't say light. Um, but yeah, it's like a mid-tone, but yeah, there's that. Okay. Then the next palettes I want to talk about are, I'm actually spinning right through this. Let's talk about, these two are basically kind of the same ballpark. I'm going to do this one right here. So let's talk about the, um, the Makeup Revolution one, I Love and Tasty Peach. The packaging is junk. What the fuck? A bug flying around here. Ugh, yuck. But this is what it looks like. Reason why I'm waiting this one up above and then the next one is because I can get into the shimmers a lot easily. They are basically the same color story, anything like that. I do really love Make Revolutions formula. They're very easy to work with. Once you know, like, of course, you don't want to, the mats are easy to work with. They don't build, but they do blend out really nicely as well. This one's actually really similar to that palette. Like, kind of like the same color story, so they still have it on Revolution website. Or, I know sometimes you see these at TJ Maxx. Definitely pick them up. These, pal these um, fruit palettes are very good. I had the avocado, now I got the peach one. And I really do like these palettes from Revolution, um, from the I Heart one. Usually that I Heart brand is a little bit here that they, but the one I tried from the avocado and this one are very nice. But the shadows are very beautiful as well. Again, like I said, this is not a standalone palette for me. It is, these two are very similar to each other. Like, literally, did Revolution dupe this? Probably, because they dupe everything. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to this one. Which one do I prefer? I kind of prefer this one because the shimmers are easier to pick up than the one from Violet Voss. Um, so I need to flip these. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these two are going to be flipped. So yeah, um, this is... So of course we got one, two... Let's say three, maybe four, five, and then we got six. So that's that one. So I do really like, like I said, I like these palettes from Revolution. I Heart Revolution. They're easy to um, 
work with for me. Um, some I know some of them are here the day, but the ones I tried from the fruit ones are really good. Okay, next let's talk about a lime crayon palette. I do really like lime crayons formula. They are very easy to work with. Um, but yeah, the color story it's not really my type. I know I saw this one. I was like, it's pretty, and uh, this is another one that Alejandro sent me to. And I do really like it, um, don't get me wrong, I I love, like I said, Lime Crimes formula and everything like that, but the formula is, it's, it's nice from them. I do like it, but again, some of these um, shimmers are really pressed hard into the pan, so they're very hard to pick up. Like, I know sometimes, like, a dip is pretty bad at doing that. I'm just watching the frick of it. But, yeah. I, like, I do really like the palette. This one's kind of, this course. It's that one. And then I'm trying to get this, um, rusty brown. There we go. So, there's the palette. So this one is, of course, the Greatest Hits um, Bangers palette. Uh, like I said, the shimmers on these are not as good as the other ones I tried from Lime Crime. Lime Crime is a brand that's kind of like, people don't like to talk about it because, of course, they are one of those brands that like to be in, you know. But I don't really get into the whole gossip dookie shit. Um, I just basically perform the quality, anything like that. The the um the quality on this one I do really like, but the problem is of course the shimmers are really hard pressed, so they really get like dig your finger into the palette, so it's really hard to um get them on the eyes. Once you do, it's fine, but um it's kind of a pain in the neck to do. And then the next two I want to talk about these guys right here. I didn't expect, of course, these to be any higher than they are. Um, I do like them both for what they are. So the actually I'm gonna do this one first. I like them in each own little way. So I'm going to swatch these guys for you to, so, on the shadow so you can see what they look like. Like I didn't expect anything at all. I just thought it was going to be kind of like a dud palette. Um, but they're not bad. I did the shimmer, this orangey shimmer I don't really like. So that's what that looks like. This one doesn't really say. There's two of them. There's one that's more of a cool tone and this warm tone. Then the other one is the Dreamy Mauve. This is from a different brand. So this is what it looks like. I did use, um, they both lay basically in the same place because there's not one of them I like better than the other one. Uh, I do like the shimmers on this one a lot better because they do are more, they're more packed. Well, that's what I have, these, these two palettes is what I have on the eyes and I do prefer the mattes and the other palette over the mattes and these. Okay. So whichever one, so there's that one. You just have to kind of like work with them a little bit and they do perform pretty nicely. Um, you just have to make sure you don't brush it. What I like to do is I like to just basically do an all matte look with this one and pop it in a corner and it worked. Like I did use one of these, I believe I used a mauve one one day when I had to be up at four o'clock in the morning and go truck. And I just, and it did work really quickly, but I'm like, okay, this had to be, I didn't know what to expect it from these palettes. So yeah. So the palettes I would recommend for you guys are be definitely, um, absolutely love, like I say, this guy right here from Uma Beauty. I absolutely love this guy. It's beautiful, highly impact shadows, and very easy to work with shadows. They just blend really nicely, and then it's not like you don't have, there's no effort to it. I do really like the one from Nabla. That's really good as two. Um, the same like I say, they're easy to work with, blend, anything like that. You don't have to fuss with it too much. Have to fuss. Um... The other guys I do like, um, like I do like I say like the Glam Up Pie, but I know it's not technically available. Um, the the color story I do like, 
But again, it's not, it doesn't, it has, there's like one more shade that would be a little bit deeper. It'd be perfect. Like the deepest ones for me, I'd be like this blue, that guy, that dark blue and that guy. And but other than that, I had to pull something else. Um, I didn't notice any difference in the form of them until they compare the other ones. I noticed like the mattes are not as super pigmented as, of course, the other ones. Like, of course, they get the kiss one. And the mats are really strong and everything like that. These mats are not as strong. But they, of course, it doesn't affect the performance at all. The Huda, I absolutely do like the um, the palette. Again, like I say, this is not a standalone palette for me. I have to, of course, bring it in. And it's always going to be uh, one. Like, basically, I'm like, okay, it's a halo eye for me. Because, you know, I don't do any light ass shit. This is actually light for me. So this is more of a day appropriate for some people. For me. This is in these two right here, um, the other two right before, right before this one over that one, but whatever. That's because um, it's easier to pick up. <laughs> Shame was in this one than it is in that one. <coughs> this is the Greatest Hits ones. If you see it, um, I don't know if this is probably not still around, but if you see it, I'll kind of avoid it. There was, there, um... The one that dupes kind of like the ABHs one, um... I love that one beautifully. I like the other one I have of them. But this one is just kind of like the mattes, of course, blend beautifully as well. The shamos are just kind of a pain in the neck um, type of form. Of course, I really like the duochromes, but like I said, they're very hard to get um, pick up a little bit. But once you do get your finger, some of them like this one, this one, and that one aren't. But of course, the special shades like this one, that one, and that one are the ones that are very hard. And of course, that guy as well. And then maybe miss this one. They are very, I don't want to say subdued, but they're very hard to get up. Okay, that's great. Hard to get up, really? Okay, well, you Jason. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, Comment questions down below. I see you guys in my next video. Um, I'm going to try to bring my little cordy dookie thing to Walmart. I just got to figure out how to do it. I might just shove it in my pants and pull in my leggings, um, then pull it out and I can do it that way. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Um, I haven't really done a shop with me at Walmart with my cord, so it kind of makes me a little nervous, but because, you know, who knows, because um, I want to show you guys all the good stuff that what I like and don't like, of course, in makeup wise. For skincare or anything like that, I'm not the biggest person to tell you what I like and don't like. Um, because I just kind of like bounce around a little bit. But for makeup, I can tell you the whole shenanigans in the drugstore land. But yeah, until my next video, see you guys later. Bye guys.